Shalom, my good black Israelite brothers and sisters. How y'all doing today? Before we start this video off, we're going to give all glory, honor, and praises to our Father, Yahweh, and his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Yes, yes. So, in today's video, man, we're going to be talking about uh, Rashad Jamal. Rashad Jamal. Um, now, the brother has been accused of, I believe, sexual assault, um, abuse, you know, towards a minor or child or whatever. And um, they tried to give him 40 years um, in prison, I believe. Uh, but they, um, took it down to 16, 16 years, 16 years in prison. Now, this brother Rashad Jamal is a, um, conscious, comedic, you know, spiritual teacher. Um, I made a video a while back where, you know, I'm, I was telling people, like, look, <laughs> It's either this side or that side, you know. And what I mean is, you know, Yahweh side, you know, and Yahweh side or the other side. Now, I get with them brothers, you know, what they teach and how they feel and, and things like that when it comes to, uh, you know, the comedic science and um, the spiritual aspect. Um, I get it. But, you know, I'm team most high. Um, the Bible the, and then the word and the text in the Hebrews, it's just undefeated. But, and I agree on some stuff that they be saying, you know, a lot of stuff, but when you just go against the most high, y'all go overboard. You know, I don't believe in doing, you know, black magic and things like that. And, you know, they do all that type of stuff. So, uh, yeah, so he was, you know, sentenced the other day, you know, probably like a week or two ago, um, and his baby mama, it all started with his baby mama. So let me try to give y'all a little rundown. This is, this is his baby mama, you know, that he was dating or messing with years ago. Um, and then he found him a new wife. And um, she didn't like it. And now um, she's, you know, seeking revenge. She's been seeking revenge. First, she said that, um, you know, he... Um, you know, uh, sexually assaulted the 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 daughter or whatever, and um, you know, I can't be <laughs> I don't want to say too much, but his extremities to touch it and all this other stuff. But my thing is, where is the proof in that? What uh, proof do they have to substantiate it? Because we understand that, understand that the not just a black woman, but we're talking black woman. When she doesn't get her way, she becomes bitter and sour. We understand that. We understand that. So, um, when you when you watch the video, her mannerisms and everything is just totally off. Go ahead and do what you got to do. Dad? What's up? What's up? Dad? What's up, sis? You see, I have Dad? so many. I have reached out to you because I got so many people reaching out be, uh reaching out to me you know what i'm saying about this dumbass nigga so whatever the case is they reaching out to me sending me death threats talking all this shit in my dm so i had to go ahead i unblocked my page and i went live so they can get some shit off their chest you know what i'm saying so i just want to know listen y'all these are the people that say that they are positive people these are the people that say they're uh, of God. But if you get a bunch of negative ass people or, or so-called people of God start going to your page over some shit they don't know nothing about, y'all wasn't there. Y'all don't know what the fuck happened. Shit. So whatever the case is, yeah, look at them all in my page. Girl, they've been harassing me. All it is. Talking about, and they keep bringing up his girlfriend. I don't even know what she looks like. Like, I don't care about that girl. I just pray that I pray that she watches her children. I pray that she 
talks to her babies. I pray that she really knows what's happening with her babies. I really do. I pray that she she keeps a a, a, a um girl hug your babies and talk to them because you don't want them feeling intimidated. Because when your children are intimidated and they feel like someone's going to hurt you and they feel like they're not going to say anything to you because your children are going to try to protect you. Everything she's talking about is totally off. She says all these things. And if you just watch her, it, it's not, it doesn't make sense in what she's saying in that video. And then when he's defending himself, he sound more logical. So, okay, baby mama, if this happened several times, why you ain't say nothing? If this happened several times, why, why that wasn't an initial call? Why would you even let me pick my son up? You called the police saying that I kidnapped him. And when we brought the, so my son back to the police station, the kidnapping charge ain't stick. Then all of a sudden, oh, 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 oh yeah, and I want to add on, he touched my daughter. Who the fuck does that, y'all? And, and on top of that, what police department gonna let some shit like that go through, nigga? Bitch, you just called us and said he touched, he kidnapped your son. Now while we on the scene, and now that we finna drop the kidnapping charge because the baby's on the way back, now all of a sudden, you wanna add on he touched your daughter? And no, he didn't even touch your daughter because you saying he asked your daughter to touch him. Most molestations, come on, y'all. Listen, they didn't charge me with they didn't charge me with no statutory rape. They didn't brother polite me. They didn't hit me with no rape. Cause guess what? If they would have hit me with if they would have brother polited me and hit me with a fucking rape, they would have had to prove that there's no semen, y'all. There's shit the little the little girl ain't been touched, her hymen, none of that. None of that, y'all. So they gave me some shit that don't need proof. Right. Um you have a custody battle. You 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 have all these factors. Right, he was trying to get custody of his son and things like that. He's doing right. He's doing good. He's cash apping money and everything. And she she had priors, right? She had another daughter who ran away and who was in a sex trafficking ring. And uh, if anything, she's the unfit parent. This is what happens when you go against the so-called elites in the government. You can't win, right? In a sense. And that's what he, that's, this is what's happening to him. It's evident. It's proven. Now, when you're dealing with the FBI, right? We know that they have um, these tactics and these methods that they use to try to take down people. Uh, they make everybody else case broad and uh, known and open. So I want to see it myself. I want to see what he actually did. I want to see what was actually said because they said the little girl said, but we know that women coach young girls to say things. This is the man that fucked with you. Rico, he's mean and you don't like him. Did I do that? You don't fuck with him. Did I do that? Do you hear me? He touched you? Yes, he did. Didn't he? Yep. No, I well, didn't. I fucking thought. Look at you, so. <laughs> so we can't just go off of what the little girl said or the little boy said or whatever because women have this, like, you know, evilness about them to where they want to seek revenge if you don't want to be with them. You were asked, did you have any sexual contact with any of your three daughters, you said no. And the lie detector said there was no deception. Yes, thank God. How does that feel for you? And that your daughters know it? Well, I felt they always did know it. You felt they always did know it? Mm -hmm. And didn't speak it because? They didn't know no better. It was told no different. Miss Yvonne took a lie detector test and said, did you make up or exaggerate any stories with the intention to harm Monzel? She responded, no. And the answer was deceptive. Then he asked you, did you say something to the effect of, I'm going to make sure you're never happy again? She responded, 
no, and the answer was deceptive. So, Miss Yvonne has acknowledged that her story about you touching your children in a sexual way was not true. So, Miss Yvonne, is there anything that you wanted to say to Mr. Monzel? Why didn't you fight for him harder if you knew you Excuse didn't me. do it? And what is it that he could have said hmm. that would have made you not believe the lie you were telling? Miss Yvonne, you told the lie. It was a lie. If you don't want to be with them. Now, he's been with his wife for about a year, two years. He's happy, uh, no drama. Um, she wasn't down with what he was teaching and things like that. And, you know, now she's sour. And if you look at her, she she just looks sour. Happy. Who want to go live? Let me go. Bitch, you, you don't bitch, know what else you got to say. Bitch, what else you got to say? Bitch, what else you got to say? Bitch, show your face. Show your face. Show your face. Don't show your face. Ugly, bitch. Come around me. 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 Come 16 years in, in prison is a long time, especially for something that you did not do. There's no substantial evidence, right? Where's the evidence of him doing it? There's no evidence. So I just want to know what what is the, the, the reason here, you know? What is the reason? And it has to be because it's who he is and what he stands for and what he teach. He teach... You know, that uh, there's wickedness in the world. We teach that also. They got it all from us. Just want to say that they got it all from us. He teach that it's wickedness in the world. He teach that, you know, it's sorcery in the world. He teach, you know, um, you know, spiritual power, which we teach the same thing. Um, for her to do that is just wrong, you know, and she's she's she feel good about herself. She's not going to. Um, you know, say that she was lying. You know, we've seen this story before. Like, women have lied on a lot of men. I mean, they, they lied on Tupac. They lied on Bill Cosby, right? They lied on Michael Jackson. Uh, you know, they they lying on R. Kelly. R. Kelly's in jail for something he didn't do. It's ridiculous. This, these Those women with R. Kelly, they voluntarily did it. The money ran low, and then <laughs> they said, we got to clean house them. You know, and that's what that's what you all get because you, you can't play with the most high. So now we're looking at Rashad Jamal and it's like, where is the 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 evidence that I'm going to keep saying it? Where is the evidence to pinpoint what he did? Right. Like there's no text message from him. There's not there's nothing like they. Where is the interrogation of the child, you know, uh, with the mother being present? It doesn't matter. Uh, we just need more evidence than a woman or a child saying something happened to me or to the child uh, with the woman being present because we know she coached her. Now, he's sitting in jail for 16 years. Um, that's what he, you know, has been convicted of, you know, and stamp with 16 years which is crazy um and we can see what 16 years can do to you uh, you know bg just got out and uh he was in there for about 12 13 and he don't look the same at all so prison it literally you know deteriorates your body your mind and your soul that's what they want you know because we're it's celestial anyway but they want to do that though they want to uh bring you to the lowest state you know, because if you believe in the the spiritual um, aspect and science behind it, they want to bring you to the lowest state possible. You know, um, I just don't think it's fair. And I'm going to keep making videos and keep talking about it until he get a fair trial. 
right? It needs to be open. We need to see it. I want to hear it. Uh, the FBI did not do a proper investigation. There was no rape kit. There was nothing. N nothing was done about his situation. You know, you, you just went in there and you, you got a warrant because somebody said something. But there's people out here dying who have restraining orders on people and uh, they died. You know, so I, I, me personally, I don't get it. Something is fishy about this um this situation right here you know something is fishy it seemed like they're targeting the brother which we know right and they also gave him 22 years uh of probation 20 a parole or probation one of them 20 22 years of that so even when he get out right even when he get out he will be under surveillance so he will have ankle monitors. I believe it's parole, I think. I'm not sure, but he will have ankle monitors. He can't get in trouble, um, so-called get in trouble. Are they going to take him right back to jail? You know, it's a target from the elites. But he, need, he needs to appeal it. You know, it's just not much out there. And if I was him, I would put a lot of stuff out there to defend my name and, and, and make sure my name is cleared of any wrongdoing. Um, they, I heard that they said that, you know, if he keep teaching that they'll take his phone privileges away, what does that have to do with anything? The brother t teaching from jail, that's really good and really crazy, but they'll take his phone privileges away and things like that. You know, um, his wife tried to take up for him and, uh, you know, that's a hard thing to go through. That's a hard thing to go through. You know, when I talked about it, you know, a year ago, um, I was, you know, just banging on the comedic community and like, you know, we the ones like we, we don't, you know, for the most part, we don't get caught up in stuff like that. You know, me, I, I don't even allow, you know, kids around me. I don't play because I, I, I don't want nobody lying on me. Uh, we know how um, men like myself, we get set up. If you teach and teach positivity and you teach against this stuff, they try to, you know, uh, infiltrate that stuff into your life and force that on people in 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 your personal life so with me i'm all what you'll never see no women around me no kids no nothing you know because i'm not going to give you a chance to be able to lie on me this brother is uh guilty until proven innocent <laughs> you know just from his baby mother saying he did something right and then the timelines how how does he get you know charged with these things after um you know sending child support money i believe it was two thousand dollars how does this happen right uh with his son you know and the whole thing just off to me the whole thing just off to me and Right around the time where he's fighting for his son, you say, oh, well, he touched my daughter. So, yeah, you know. So now if you have an open case, that just diminished everything with the son because now they have to get to the bottom line of you uh, sexually assaulting or abusing children, you know. So, I mean, she, you know, it was a double whammy. Now, when you look at the whole situation... It's messed up, but what's even more messed up is I believe that the son is not even his. I seen something on Twitter or something that he posted or whatever. The son is not even his. So all this stuff that's happening is crazy. Now it could you now can be the most high judgment. You know, the most high gonna judge you, uh, period. You know, when you play with the word and things like that, which they do, um, the most high he's he's going to punish you. Um but then, you know, he's going to bring you back, you know, once you understand, you know, get the, the understanding of the most high, then he'll free you because it, it could be a punishment, you know, um, definitely it, it is a punishment, but, uh, cause the most high don't like to be played with. He's a God not to be mocked. Um, so we, we see how this can, you know, transition, but I just, I made this video cause it's just crazy, man. Um, and then to where all the comedic. The, the 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 community like where like y'all letting them fry his uh court hearing or whatever that was, it was empty like crazy um so what's that about you know like come on y'all like 
y'all was rocking with him when he was getting the views and y'all was saying how smart he is and uh, how uh, uh, much of a leader he is. And now that he's sitting behind bars, y'all like, ah, shh, on to the next one. Y'all got to stop doing, you all have to stop doing this. You all have to stop um, um, denigrating your people, you know, and using your people, dashing, uh, dining and dashing. That's what y'all do. Y'all don't want to stick with people for the long run. You know, y'all just want to uh, get whatever information, you know, uh, um, you know, suck the person dry and then leave. It should be way more support. You know, it should be way more support. And I want to see some documentation and some evidence of what he did, what he did, not what she said, what he did, because it's not adding up at all. It's not to me. It's not adding up at all. Y'all got the brother in jail for something that y'all cannot prove just by uh, uh, he say, she say in Atlanta. I believe he was convicted in Atlanta. Now, what about T.I. and Tiny? Because they was in the same uh, situation with evidence and more people, right? It was evidence of more people. They had a whole sex traffic ring going on and all that just disappeared. Why? Because they paid people off? Like, what's going on here? Why are they not being convicted, right? Uh, the guy from uh, Corey or whatever from uh, That's So Raven, I believe he had some uh, you know, stuff going on too. And he not being convicted. It seemed like when you you can pay people off, and that's fine. You can pay people off, but what's right, right is right, wrong is wrong. Like you should get convicted the same. Like all these celebrities and things like that have done the exact same thing and got away scot free. Like the uh, Weinstein guy, whatever. All those celebrities that literally went to the island for children and this is called Petal Island, you know, um, they went there and nothing happened, but a woman can say he did something. And then y'all say, yep, throw him away, lock him up. He did it. He's guilty. I just want to see the proof. I want to see a me text message, a phone call. I want to see the little girl crying, terrified. I want to see her run into something. It has to be something. It can't just be, he said, touch my extremities, um, and et cetera, et cetera. I'm just not buying it, man. I'm just not buying it. And y'all, you all that is comedic or whatever, y'all need to stand up for your brother. They got to be way more support. Y'all letting them just die out. You know, y'all, when, when people go to jail, y'all just be like, oh, no, on to the next one. Then when he get out, it's like, oh, I was rocking with him the whole time. It's like, come on, man, it's garbage. Because I would want y'all to rock with me. Y'all know I would never do anything like that. So if they make these false accusations, y'all know that I didn't do it. Y'all know that it's a, a bigger agenda. Y'all know that now because this is what they do. They sit and they wait. And they try to hawk you down. You know, that's why the most high tell you to be sober and vigilant in all your ways. Don't get sloppy. You know, but I just had to make that video, man, because um, it's just not right. You know, 16 years. Um, now he will probably get out, you know, they're probably less than a time with good behavior and things like that, but just to be in jail uh, one day for something that you may not have done, that he may not have done, or something that he didn't do, is uh, preposterous. It's beyond belief. So I just want, um, you know, our people to wake up and uh, realize, you know, the, the way is the most high. Now, the most high say, well, we, we will be in prison. We will be falsely accused. He, I mean, that's in the Bible. We will be falsely accused. We will go to jail. For stuff we didn't they're gonna lock us up just for being israelites so all the israelites running free you won't be free for long just remember that you will not be free for long because the most high he's going to um you know still cast that cast that punishment that's that's a part of the curse is to be falsely accused and it seemed like all the black men and women and children are falsely accused every time so um you all just be ready for that but 
uh, you know, uh, get the brother free, man. Free the brother, cause that's a that's a long time, cause he could have been out there, you know, uh, doing wrong like he was before. But I may not agree with his teachings, you know, fully. But when a black man educate himself and uh, try to disenchant his people, um, he get hit with things like this. So I just want people just to be aware and be more helpful, you know. Um, it's y'all. Y'all have to rise and stop being scared. You know, the system is very powerful. It, it takes more than one or two people, or ten or twenty people, to defeat this monster. You know, this is Babylon. Now, hopefully, he can wake up and see what's really going on. He need to read the Bible. He need to, you know, get an understanding of the actual scriptures and not the manipulation of the elites and how they use it. But if y'all enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, um, you know, thumbs up, all that good stuff, man. And y'all just make sure y'all keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, being vigilant, uh, obeying our Father, and waiting on Yahweh Shai's glorious return because it's going to be glorious. And um, I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. This is Alpha Hebrew. I am signing out. Peace.